Hey Bobcats, here with Athlete of the Week. I'm Caroline Long and this is Shantiana Keys for the second week in a row. She got Peach Belt Conference Athlete of the Week and now is 11th overall with career points at Georgia College. So now they are on, uh, they just won two games in a row now. Can you recap those games for us? Okay, we played GRU on Monday and that was a close game first half. Um, we came out pretty sluggish, pretty slow, um, and then picked it up the intensity second half. Um, ended up beating them by a good amount. Um, and then Aiken came, and we knew that they were going to bring their best also. And at times it seemed like we were outmatched in size, but um, we were able to once again come back second half and be able to finish strong. So they were pretty solid games. Good. So what is the key factor, you think, when you all come in that second half and just come out really strong and get that big lead? What do you think the key factor is, the like, difference between the first half and the second? Um, I think – we, we're more of a second half team just overall and of course we'd love to be a first and second half team but um, I think at halftime we're able to refocus and look at the things that we're doing wrong first half so even if we come out you know we come out well right away it's still uh, we can adjust at halftime I think that's a major factor in how we how we do second half. And coming back to Peach Belt Conference Athlete of the Week and now 11th career points how are you feeling about that and did you know you were getting close to that or anything? I mean, it feels pretty cool. Um, this is actually the first time I've ever gotten Peach Belt Athlete of the Week, which I've been here a while, and I mean, I, I'd honestly been working for it and hoping for one. Um, so that was pretty cool. Um, and then with the career total points, I knew that I was within a few. I think I needed seven going in, um, and then I needed 10 to get into top 11. And I mean, it was pretty cool uh, being up there with names like Shamir Jordan, who she did hers in only two years, honestly, but um, hats off to her. That's pretty cool. But um, it's just really awesome to know that I still have a little bit of time to keep moving up the, the chart, I guess. Well, and what is your upcoming competition, and what's that looking like for you guys? This weekend we have Young Hairs, and I believe Wednesday? Let's see. I couldn't tell you who we play. But I know we play Clayton State soon and Columbus State. Um, we're about to finish out the conference, honestly, in the next month, and I'm pretty excited about it. Um, I think Young Harris is going to be another good test. They were the second team to beat us this season, so, you know, we have some revenge to pay there. Um, and I just think it'll be a good test to see where we are, how far we've come in the last couple of weeks, um, against zones, and um, just, I guess, team chemistry when things start to break down. We can, we've learned that we've got to pick them back up. All right, and since you told us last week, Young Harris, y'all are back, you know, ready for revenge and everything. What are kind of some of the things you do personally to get your team pumped and ready to play them and hopefully come out with a victory? Well, I don't do anything in particular. Um, I think lately I've gotten back to refocusing myself, like before games, um, just listening to music and just getting my mind right before the game. But as a team, we have a little dance party before, a little little nay nay action. So that's. That's how, that's how we get focused together, and then we talk a couple of times before the game, pray a little bit, you know. So I think together we've gotten a pretty good routine on um, focusing for games now. That's awesome. And to get to know you a little bit more, um, how long have you been playing basketball, and did you know you wanted to play college basketball? I've been playing since I was 11. So at sixth grade, I went out for a tryout in these awful, like, cotton shorts, and I think they put me on the team because I was taller than everyone else, and uh, I was pretty fast. Um, but I didn't know I wanted to play college basketball until about probably eighth or ninth grade. And that's when I got pretty serious about it. I mean, I loved the game before, but I didn't really know the ins and outs of, you know, getting recruited and all of that until about eighth and ninth grade. Gotcha. All right, and let's see. Um, what's another sport that you just love to go watch, for instance, at Georgia College maybe? Oh, oh. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I like pretty much every team but the volleyball team. <clears throat> I'm just kidding. Um, no, we uh, had a pretty good outing as a basketball team to a lot of the volleyball games, as you know. Um, I think it's because it's familiar territory for us. The gym, you know, we can uh, come, relax, and to us it's home. So it's pretty comfortable to be out there. Um, but, yeah, so I guess GC Volleyball is where we, we like to hang out. That's a good answer, Keys. Um, <laughs> and let's see, what are you doing, like your plans after college and everything? What are you studying right now and everything? Okay, I'm a mass communication major, and I'm into uh, broadcast. And after, I would just love to get a job, but um, more than that, just um, a job somewhere in broadcast. Of course, I love talking to people and interviewing people, so I'd love to do that. Um, yeah. 
Perfect. For more about Georgia College basketball, go to gcbobcats.com and come support them at their next home game next Wednesday.